Okay, day three, full day two. Because we got here late in the day and had to unpack, so we didn't really have a full day the first day. Let's take a walk around the grounds. First off, this is where Jerry's hiding his kayak. Although I think the water's been too rough coming from the west to really kayak. Uh, I won't say safely, but for us, safely. <laughs> so you can see there's our doorway. We're in 2E in case you ever want to rent this condo. That's what it is. And I'll show you the condo we were in before. And, uh, so we're just able to tuck it in between us and the neighbors. So I, what I like about this place is it has all these walkways between all the different condo units. So like if you're a family and you have kids, you want to go to the beach or whatever, they uh, don't have to get out into parking lots. Parking lots surround the buildings. And there's the big pool. It's huge and warm and wonderful. And I'm all dressed to go in it. But let's continue our, um, our tour. We'll come back to this big pool area in a minute. Let's walk down here. See how pretty the foliage is here? That's one of the things I liked about it. Now these condos don't face the beach, but they also don't have an unrelenting sun hitting them like our condo gets really, really hot in the afternoon. Not the back, just the living room. And then they have restrooms here, so you don't have to run back into your condo. But look at the beautiful jasmine arbor. I bet that smelled so good a month ago. And just more of the beautiful foliage between all the units. But I'm going to go this way through the arbor. So we can go by the condo we had before. See, that one's different. It has all those windows up there. Because they're individually owned, they're not all exactly the same. Pretty much the same floor plan. The one we had this time is just a tiny bit different than what we had last time. Very minimal difference in the floor plan. But like some people extend out their unit and then they don't have as much patio space. And some people completely enclose their patio space. And coming up on the one where we had before. I don't know if anybody, anybody has it. This is the office up here. But this is the one we had before. It was F9. I liked it. It was open. You got morning sun. And so the afternoon was nice to eat dinner out there. And this is the chairs at the around the office. Look, it's a shark bench. And there is the official doors. And then you can come over here. I think it's where you can get, oh, you can drop off your keys and stuff. There's a lending library, although our condo's full of books and then all the local, I don't know what you call those things, flyers. And then somewhere over here you can pick up clean towels and stuff. We have a washing machine and dryer, but um, this is just parking for when you first get here and you're checking in. Or maybe even for people in some of those end units there. But there's more parking around the back. Nice little island that separates the end versus out lane. So here is tennis court number one. ball and rackets for you. Which it looks so huge. I remember used to, as a teenager, running the tennis court. It didn't seem so huge. Oh, there's the laundry area right there. So you can go get, that's their laundry. <coughs> each unit, that's their laundry. Each unit has its own washer and dryer if you want to just do it yourself. But you can exchange, I believe, sheets and towels. We don't. We just wash them. And the bicycle rack, which Jerry is not using. He's putting it in our dining room instead. 
It's in the shade, but he doesn't want to do it. Oh, look at the coconuts. That's a pretty sight. Okay, and over here, it's something we have used. Last time we were here, we used it a lot. We'll use it again this time, just not yet. It's just the three of us right now. But we have friends coming tomorrow to stay in the resort next door. And then we have family coming on Monday to stay two nights, three days with us. And when there's more people, we'll pull out the ribs and the wings and stuff. So there's this kind. What is this kind called? A griddle, a grill? I don't know the difference. And then it looks like six barbecues all ready to go. Oh, and another one of these. Is that for like frying up hot dogs and onions? And then tables. And they all have these things on them. I don't know what they are. Oh, there are gas lights. And then I see they have these kind of like little Edison bulb, bulb lights. Probably for nighttime. And there's the other tennis court. And that one has a basketball hoop. I don't know if you can play pickleball on these or is that a different kind of court. But that's what they have as well as this beautiful bird of paradise there. I haven't had so much luck growing those. I can grow the giant white bird of paradise, but this one here, I haven't had very much luck with where I live. See, they also have something for when it's cooled. <laughs> Good. And you can just see there's a hammock over there. There's a little garden with a hammock. Okay, I'm not getting the hammock. Oh, I gotta go down maybe? There it is. There's a hammock for just hanging out. Another walkway to the garden. Now you might hear some road noise here because the we're up kind of close to the road here. I mean, there's some green space and garden, but that is the road side of the property. But if you are ever interested in Casa Del Mar, each of these is individually owned, so they're all decorated separately. Um, like I say, I believe they're all pretty much the same floor plan there like there's some slight deviations probably depending on where the condo is in the building whether it's in the middle or the ends or whatever but you know don't just go with the first one you see shop around look at them you might find some that are more appealing one of the ones we first looked at everything was red red leather red everything it just looked hot to me <laughs> and uh, I was more comfortable picking the one that I picked but, and then there are different prices based on where they are and of course the time of year. So that's why I'm not telling you how much they cost because it depends on where you're coming, or where you're staying. So anyway, and they were very nice about the service dog. Obviously they have to be because of ADA, but they were very accommodating. Um, I was able to send all the documentation to them through email and got it all taken care of. So it was no deal when I checked in. Uh, apparently there's only a deal if you don't tell them if you surprise them with it then they have to go through and look at the documentation so anyway I think it's time for me to get in the pool well I gotta go home and put on sunscreen first and then it's time for me to get in the pool my little place in the shade under a sea grape bush Table. If someone was occupying it, I first walked up, or I might have just taken that. The other one has people's stuff on the chairs and a couple water bottles. And then the table's out in the sun. The beach the chairs, and then when you get down here, there's a whole ton of sun worshiper chairs. Not being one of those folks. Another one of those tiki huts. And then when you come off the beach, you wash your feet. And here's the other tiki hut, which I really enjoyed sitting under. It just seems cooler than anywhere else. In fact, I'm going to move there because my little place in the sun under the sea grapes has ants. Oh, and there's our next door neighbor's condo right there. 
We can just walk right to it and then see the green umbrella. That's us. <laughs> One more view of the gulf today before I get in the pool. They're pool front oh, condos. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Pass it! I'm just going to show you my little view from my spot in the sun while I dry off after having been in the pool and tell you a little bit that I know. Um, last year when I was here, that corner unit, I don't know if you can see it, it's all glassed in down there. The people had stayed there like three months or something. Wow. <laughs> Uh, but I have met people here who have been coming here for like 25 years, their family. And I know my friends who stay next door, the property next door, Casa, no, it's called uh, Sun and Sea. They've been coming here for at least, probably 65 years. So a lot of people who go to Longboat Key have been doing it for generations. My friend's grandparents went there when her mother was little. And now, her mother's grandchildren are joining her there. It's definitely a family kind of place. And in case you're wondering, I'm not doing an advertisement for Casa Del Mar or Sun and Sea or Longboat Key. Just sharing my experience and knowledge in case you're considering a Florida vacation. I just want to show you what the Gulf is like. I think Cocoa Beach, Orlando, Miami, places on the East Coast or get a lot of attention and uh, but the Gulf Coast has a lot to offer too. Okay, so I'm just relaxing after a dip in the pool. I do notice though that like a lot of these chairs and tables, especially the shaded ones, are taken with people's stuff. Yet there's only like two families in the pool area and they are all inside. So apparently people are saving stuff. They've got it for lunch or they're out at the beach. Uh, that happens on cruise ships too, where people will save a nice spot on the ship, then leave the ship, go on an excursion, then come back, and that spot has been saved all day for them <laughs> when no one else could use it. I don't know. I, you know, I'm, I just, I would never do that, and uh, I'm surprised at people too. Oh well, enough ranting. What I really wanted to talk about was the accommodations. I did film something earlier when I was over by the barbecues, but I didn't have it on record. <laughs> because I'm such a rookie. Um, I just want to talk about the difference in the two units that I've stayed in. The first one was F9, and as I showed you, it was by the office, and it faced the gardens, uh, and the back of it faces the parking lot. And then this one is E2. It's an ocean front, or gulf front, and then the back faces the walkways. Now, obviously, nothing can beat that. Move the camera here. A little bit different arm. <laughs> And nothing can beat that gulf view. Obviously, hands down, it's going to be a favorite unit because of that. But I have to say that if you don't want to spend the extra for that, the F9 was very comfortable. I actually like the floor plan of it just better. They're not a huge difference. The difference really is where the guest bathroom or the public bathroom is located in the unit. In F9, it was very close to the what I'll call the guest room with the two twin beds. This one is down the hall. It's a little bit less convenient for the person staying in that room. But uh, it's a matter of preference, I guess. So um, this one also has the E2 has the built-in counter bar and then the office on the end, which we're taking advantage of. However, when you do that, you lose floor space. So on F2, the furniture went way further back. It was just a bigger open living room as a result of that. And F, or not F2, F9. And F9 also had like upholstered furniture instead of the leather that we have here and a cute beach theme. It was, it was more comfortable. I would say that that had a better layout and was more comfortable, but it's hard to give up that view. But if you're interested, go on their website. You can look at each individual unit by clicking on it, it has an availability uh, 
calendar and costs and everything and it'll do a little tour of you know a bunch of pictures of the inside of it because they're all different they're owned by individuals and so they're all different so you can like just because the first one you see you like and it's available don't snap it up keep looking because there might be one that you like just as much that's less money or something that just might be more to your taste in decorating not that that's a big deal with vacation but you know whatever makes you comfortable but yes, I like both of them and I would be certainly willing to stand both of them again. Just showing how nice it is to lay here in the shade with the breeze. It's like being under a ceiling fan with a slight air conditioner. I mean, way better than being inside or being in the sun. I could stay here all day. <laughs> 